outside, in the sky, a place without borders, a feeling of boundlessness marred only by intense feelings of agoraphobia. You see, I've never been very comfortable with the great outdoors. Even the term itself seems somewhat smug. You don't see the indoors calling itself great. I like the inside. It's where I live. You see, in my unassuming abode, I've brought the great outdoors indoors. For example, this digital window, allowing me to look at view after glorious view, snow with some sleet, water over rock. And I can hear any sound I should wish to hear with this, my sound machine, for example. Asian Garden, or my personal favorite, wind. And if I wished, I could wear these, but I don't. And for a totally immersive experience, I merely need to don this, the Oculus Rift headset. Why go outside when you can have vivid being lost in a forest dreams here? And this way, I've cut down on the travel. I'm walking across some hills, much like Julie Andrews. See, after a while, you do start to feel quite seasick. But I would rather feel seasick in my own house than at sea. At least I can lie down on a bed. They say going out is the new staying in. Well, actually, no one says that. Going out is the opposite of staying in, which is why I won't do it. So I'm going to definitively prove that it's possible to lead a full and moderately healthy life without exiting the front door. And I shall do this with the kindly aid of gadgets. I'll obviously never lack for audio-visual immersion. In my bedroom alone, I have a Samsung UHD curved TV for a more wrappy around the viewing experience. And for when I need to project television or video games directly onto my retina, I can flip down the visor of my hecka-sweet avogant glyph. It does this using a combination of special optics and millions of tiny mirrors, giving the impression of watching an 80-inch screen from eight feet away. As for sweet music, the joint is jumping with it, courtesy of these AWOT Strimlight Wi-Fi bulbs. The light bulbs have built-in speakers. I can stream music to them over Wi-Fi to create an around-the-house music experience by just using lamps. If I decide that piping music from the light sockets isn't giving me the intensity I crave, I can board the Ove pod. Designed to create a private space to work or relax in busy environments, the pod allows me to focus on what matters. Although I'm being comprehensively entertained, I am feeling the occasional stab of utter loneliness. Though tempted to counter this with a pet, I am allergic to nearly all life forms. And so I must once more turn to non-organic gadgets, like Pleo, the dinosaur. Pleo has over 100 gears, 14 motors, touch and movement sensors. It can even hear and respond to sounds. And I can now replace my real seal with this seal. Developed at a cost of over eight million pounds, Paro is a Japanese robotic companion who has been shown in clinical trials to reduce stress, depression and anxiety among the elderly, such as myself. Zuma is a robot dog with sensors in its chest to detect motion, objects and touch. There we its go. many tricks include following its owner and even urinating on command. OK. Zuma's in trouble. Not for the first time in my life, I've had to accept that I'm not Dr. Doolittle. Alack, I cannot talk to animals. If I want conversation, I'm going to have to interact with actual people. But how do I get actual people to come to me rather than me having to go out to those actual people? I've literally just had a notion that I wish to share with my technical support staff.
Yeah, it's me. Here's the thing, I want to stay in, but I want elements of going out, i.e. some form of human interaction. Yeah, I, I guess you could call that a party. But it can't end up feeling like I'm out. Otherwise, I'll have to go out. Do not fail me. OK, all the best. <laughs> 7,000 teapots, Richard, think of it. Yeah, I have thought of it, and yet I mustn't go in. There are reasons for this. I do not like crowds. It's bound to be rammed. I'm going to get so excited, my elbows are going to fly about the plate and cause breakages. Perspex! There's perspex over the teapots, Richard! My elbows are like diamonds, so I have had my tech support staff rustle this up. It's a webcam attached to a hat that is bone conductive, so I'll be able to speak to you and your head will act as an amplifier for my words, and then that's going to live stream to my tablet computer so I can see what's going on, drink in the cultural goodness without encountering what may be some frankly creepy people. Your law say you are, Dave. OK. I'm going to go and hang out by that massive weird teapot. Wow. Just believe what you're seeing, my friend. Phil. How does it feel to be there live? I am overwhelmed. I've never been around this much pottery. I mean, this is so much better than being there. Ah, oh, that is a very evocative scene. Two pandas hugging buy some bamboo. I'm really pleased I have the buffer of space from this experience. I'm worried that I'd be overwhelmed. Now, oh. as you can see, if I put my hand there, these ones are tiny. These are ridiculously small teapots. I mean... Who's going to drink out of these? I don't know. Someone with a great sense of fun. i tell you what, I I'm not going to speak back to you. But rest assured that I'm listening to everything you say, OK? OK. All right. Th thanks, Richard. Well, this has blown my mind. Keep talking, Phil. I'm listening. I hope you're recording this, or at least doing screen grabs. Despite my fun-loving persona, I'm not that much of a people person. And, disgraced as it is, I may need gadgets to attract companions. Waiting in my gadget garage is a man who's casually consented to help me assess a gamut of gaming tech that might make folk flock to my soiree. Despite his rep, David Mitchell is far from a party animal. If I can find gadgets that will persuade him to spend time with me, I'll be on the fast lane to Easy Street. Hello, David Mitchell. Hello, Richard. How are you? Very good. I've resolved to never go out ever again. Right. Uh, which I just broke by coming into this building, which is sort of an annex. Right. But so you can still get from building to annex. But yes. As I... the agoraphobia yes. hems you A in brief further. Dash. Yeah. but no more. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to entice you to stay here via games. Do you want to have a look at this, this table? Yes, pl this yes, but I was just admiring it. The Strikeworth table. It's a pool table. Uh, as I can see. Flip it. Ah, wow. An instant air hockey zone. Oh. Give it a whack. Oh, yeah. It's... Oh, look at that. We, we came into human I contact. That I don't know if that's allowed. You like ice hockey. <laughs> oh, oh, come on now. Now you've won. As expected, David, it's not nearly my equal. But oh. next I have a game in which we can join forces against technology. Now, David, this is the foosbot. As in foosball? Yes. Yeah. Based, I think, loosely on the pool. German for football. Oh, really? So it's an Americanism via Germany, if you can think of anything more evil. Oh, my goodness. It's a computerised table football game. That's so we all. play against the computer? We play against the computer. Now, it's reacting faster than we can think, but the servos are slower than the computer. I see. Ah. Oh. Well, one nil to humanity. I have to say, you're pretty good at this. I much prefer the table variety to the much overhyped field ball. After thoroughly oh. trouncing technology on the foosball field, I felt confident David was ready to bring the noise in a war zone. The computer is actually... It's in the desk. It's it? right. And it's been souped up. It's running at such velocity and such power that it needs the liquid coolant just to stop it exploding from pride. It's specially cooled. Especially cooled. To be especially cool. The definition of this is so clear it's as good as being outside. Can we turn the sound up? Yes. And I'll be able to hear the think... cries of my prey. Ah, oh, there we go. And there's the... 
Oh, hello. Oh. I didn't know you things went black and white when you were nearly dead. Yeah. How they do they do. know that? Well, I think they've just taken this direct from saving the private shoot Ryan. randomly at that building. Yeah. Go on. That's going to bring down property values. I think what's good for young people to learn is that sprees of unimaginable violence are totally consequence free. Oh dear. Oh, there we go. Shoot. I don't care what side you're on. This is a very stressful. Oh, oh there we go. Who's he? I don't know, but it's. Oh, it's gone black and white. Oh. The realism is breathtaking, but I can offer you even greater realism over there. Even more real than running around with a gun? Even more real than that. Let's go. Can I introduce you to the Vasaro Evolve Extreme Pro? Indeed you may. It um, has triple OLED screens. You can sit in, it will shake around, it's a simulator. It's like being in a car, but inside. Well, I can't actually drive a car in That's real right. life, but... Um... So, in a way, this is better than real life. Well, exactly, yeah. Yeah. There we go. And, and then bring around slowly. I there think... we go. Oh, my God, I'm I oversteering. Think... Classic error in Formula One. I hope there's not going to be suddenly a corner. Oh. All right, there we go. Go on. Goodness me. You're past the legal speed limit now. <laughs> You're into 90 miles an hour. I don't like it. Oh, David. I'm going to change I down a bit. Slow down. I don't like oh, it. Oh, gosh. You're in gear six. I don't and like it. 50. I don't Take like it gear six. Take it down. Hang on. Where's the indicators? Oh, no. Oh, oh graph, there we man. Go. Here we go. Just bring it to a. Oh, they say. I'm parked now, and I think this is a lovely okay. spot for a picnic. Yes. OK. There we go. Well, I've only recently passed my test. Well, you're ahead of me. I'm going to floor it. OK. Well, that's a good noise. Oh, hello. Look at this. Oh, there. You've done that now. Oh. I imagine that kind of crash in real life would have felt even worse than that. Yes. The car has too much damage. We've got to fix it. OK. All right, Shane. Well, that's a shame. Yeah. David, thank you very much. You have been invaluable. I could not have done this without you or someone in a similar vein to you. Thank you. Um, I'd like to think I was one of the first five or six choices. You literally were in the top dozen. But the thing is, I'm actually having a soiree tonight. Um, I was wondering whether you might want to join us. No, thanks. I'm, so I'm, I've got a new hair washing simulator at home I want to try. I'm going to stay in. You go to heck. You go to heck in a handbasket, David Mitchell. In a handbasket? <laughs>